Here's the number two and 23 hundredths, and here is a picture representing that value. So the because two and 23 hundredths is a fraction, um, we need to first understand like, okay, what is our whole going to be represented as? So we're gonna say that this square right here represents our whole. Okay, so we have two of our whole, and then we're going to have an additional 23 hundredths of the whole. So here I've taken the whole and broken it up into um, hundredths, uh, into a hundred equal pieces, and then I have shaded 23 of them. So this represents two and 23 hundredths. All right, one of the uh, basic facts when it comes to uh, decimals and multiplying decimals is the fact that when you multiply by 10, that's just going to move the decimal over uh, by one. And when you divide, it'll move the decimal over to the other side. So well, let's just kind of examine that for multiplying because dividing is sort of just going the opposite way. So here is 1.11 uh, or one in 11 hundredths. So represented by this picture here. So this square represents our whole. And then over here, I have 11 hundredths of the whole. And multiplying by 10, I got 10 groups of uh, 1 and 11 hundredths. And so what do we have over here? Well, we notice that we have 10 of these ones right here. And so this makes up 10. And then over here, this is the little bit trickier of a part. So we have 10 of these um, pictures over here and then 10 of these as well, right? This and this combined uh, makes up 11 hundredths. So here we have 10 hundredths or just one tenth. And so 10 of these is going to make uh, just one. So, so each of these is just one tenth. So 10 groups of one tenth is going to equal one. Just write equal over here. And then over here we have uh, one hundredth. And so if I were to take 10 of those, just 10 of those, and I'm going to make up one tenth, right? So I'm going to make up one tenth of the square. And so doing all of that, so I have 10 over here, and then I have uh, one from the 10 of these, 10 of these makes up the entire square, right? Um, and then one and one tenth that I get from the 10 of the these guys over here. So I get 10 plus one and a tenth, so I get 11 and one tenth. So get 11 and 1 tenth. So it's really similar to why multiplying by 10 for just uh, standard whole numbers uh, is just going to add a zero to the end of it. It's the same sort of idea. Um, it just has the effect of uh, moving the decimal left or right. Um, and it's also worth mentioning if, you know, if this were like a zero right here, uh, you might like end up getting like some zeros in weird places or whatever, but the whole explanation doesn't really change at all. Okay, uh, and so with dividing, um, when you divide things into 10, um, a division problem is uh, basically um, just the inverse of a multiplication problem, and so you would sort of use the same logic there as well. All right, uh, so we can use these pictures to help compare decimals as well. So here are two decimals, we have 64 hundredths and 587 thousandths. So I use these pictures um, to sort of illustrate these numbers. So I have 64 hundredths of, um, of a square shaded over here. And then here I have 58 hundredths of a square shaded uh, along with this like little box right here. I have like a little bit of it shaded like in a different color that's supposed to represent the like 0.007 at the end right there. So that's like seven thousandths or seven tenths of one of the tiny little squares. Okay, so from this picture, visually you can kind of see that um, the uh, decimal 
furthest to the left is going to matter the most. So I have six tenths over here and I have five tenths over here. And then the rest of this decimal right here is making up something that is less, um, less than one full row, right? Okay? So we have less than one full row over here. So we can just kind of ignore it because we have six of these full rows over here and then five of the full rows over here. And so we can kind of just say, oh, well, that's gonna, that's going to be bigger, right? And so in general, whenever you're comparing decimals, 0 0.0124 versus like 0 0.00216, something like this, um, you just look for, you just go left to right compare place value, one place value at a time, and then see, look for the first place where the place values are not equal, uh, and then just pick whatever the bigger one, and that's going to represent the bigger number. Okay. All right, last thing I wanna mention is um, mental math and estimation uh, with decimals. So this is not too uh, difficult, but basically just this just amounts to rounding. So if I have 4.62 times 5.129, uh, and if I have to do this in my head, I'm just really not going to want to. So I'm going to want to round this. So maybe you could round it to like four and a half or just round it up to five and round the 5.129 uh, down to five. So this is basically 25, right? Uh, 18 and 98 hundredths, that's pretty close to 19. This right here is pretty close to 18. So this is about 19 plus 18, which is 37. Uh, over here, I have a number um, in uh, scientific notation, so multiplying by 10 to the fourth. Uh, so whenever you have uh, something where you're multiplying by like 10 to the fourth or dividing by 10 to the fourth or something, this just tells you how many um, times you have to move the decimal. So this is equal to 178,260 just by moving the decimal over four places. Uh, and then over here, 624 and 9 tenths divided by 100. Move the decimal left two places, you get 6 and 249 thousandths.